Musically, uh, we are obviously very influenced by what we experience in our lives. Our whole music really is almost like a documentary of our feelings. This is the most important thing to us, way more important than any kind of style, is making sure that the music represents who we are as people. Um, we always grew up playing rock music, so this has been, become obviously still a part of our skill set of you know playing rock instrumentation. But we fused it with electronic uh, sounds and soundscapes. Um, some people call it post-rock, some people call it instrumental rock. Um, we do have some backing vocals in it as well. Um, so yeah, I guess space rock is what we like to call it. The new album was uh, released April uh, this year. It was written in the memory of our, our seven-year-old seven cousin who uh, died under very tragic circumstances. Um, it was a very difficult album to write. Um, but we had to write it. It's it's just something that um, changed our lives, and I think for me, for me as a father with two children, uh, to see uh, my my cousin, um, his father, his father uh, bury his seven-year-old child was, I think, it was the most harrowing moment of, of, of my life. I think, uh, in one way, it brings back the the tragedy straight back, but. And in another way, we feel it's, it's honouring his memory, and I think his father said it best. You know, he, he kind of took comfort that it wasn't just him going through this, but you know, it, we we all took a part of the pain. Yeah. And um, for me, it focuses me in very quickly because we begin with epitaph, the title track, and um, everything in the room just disappears. Everything is back to where we began with this album. And I'm, it's not the most sociable mood, but it's an honest one and it's a very dark mood and it sets the tone, I think, for the whole show. For me, it was an album in one way easy to write because you had so much emotion built up. That way, it, there was no shortage of, you know, ammo to write music. But reliving it over and over again, especially during the mix and the recording stage, it just seems to be oppressive after a while. So our mood certainly changes when we start playing the set, where I'd say maybe a year or two ago playing the other one, we were kind of nostalgic playing, you know, different songs or whatever mood we were in. You know, with Helios Erebus, it was much more of, let's show them that we still got it, you know, let's show them that we can go out there and, you know, give you a a rocky show you know this is very different this is almost like a uh, mourning you know a loss still and uh, it's changed me as a person I just realized what's important and it isn't it isn't any of this you know it's your family it's your friends it's the people you care about and um, it puts me into perspective every time and one way you know it's it's amazing still to come up to all these places to play our music as well but it's a, it's a dark shadow that hangs over us for sure. of our lives I think um, that's a, I've done I think I've done one day I've done 13 hours of driving same when I'm on the same day of the show yeah but uh, it's a very beautiful part of, of uh, Europe it's um, it still has a unique um, vibe to it like you know if you're in Germany France and Belgium it all kind of looks the same 
um, Romania, Bulgaria, S Serbia, Slovenia, they all kind of have a unique uh, uniqueness to it. It looks quite different from the rest of Europe. So It looks like it's yeah. back in time in a really nice way. You know, it looks like it's been untouched by the whole modernization of, you know, European standards, I guess. We're feel so lucky to be out here playing uh, in front of uh, all, all the wonderful people and uh, we really hope that everybody has a really good time with the show tonight and nobody walks away um, upset, you know, that's it.